Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for uh, Monday, the 26th of August. We got three games on the slate. First game, Fever and uh, in the Dream, 7.30. Open up at minus one. It's at minus two and a half. Over on the 165, 166. And we got a uh, second game, Liberty at Mercury. Uh, open at four and a half. It's at minus five right now. Over on the one sixty three. Basically stayed the same. And then a ten o'clock, uh, two ten o'clock games: the Liberty and the Mystic. Mystic in the Storm, plus seven and a half. This is the biggest spread of the night. Uh, it's up to plus nine and a half. They just played a couple days ago, and uh, it was pretty close. I think it ended at like a six seven point spread. But uh, over on the still 160. So uh, can't complain about that. It should be all right. All right, play props. Kelsey Mitchell, points over 19 and a half, minus 122. FanDuel, definitely line shop. They got it right now, 135 on DraftKings. Uh, for the year, a little rough. But... Uh, Last five games, we already know Kelsey Mitchell. She can ball, good ball handler, create her own shot, can shoot the three. Um, playing Seattle, both fast-paced teams. She's cleared this four out of the last five. Last ten games, 60% hit rate. Seattle's fifth in points allowed to the guard position, the ranked seventh. But, uh... Yeah, they just played on the 18th. She had 27 points. She's putting up plenty of shots. Playing 35 minutes, plenty of minutes. Uh, last five games, averaging 17 shots, making about nine of them. It's shooting 50%, as well as 40% from three, and 100% these last five games from the foul line. So she's going on a bit of a heater. She's exceeded 20 and a half points in five of her six last games. Uh, Kelsey Mitchell, she's in beast mode. We already know she can play. As long as the line's good and the matchup seems to be okay. This two, two three point spread, it's going to be a good game. Uh, Fever's been. Been killing it since they came back from the break. Uh, just look at the shot chart here 33% under the basket, 8%, 10% midi, 42% behind the arc. Way to defend, it all looks good. Uh, plays that play like her, hit rate 56%, so it all looks good. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, they're playing Atlanta. What did I say? I don't know if I said who they were playing. But uh, it should be a good game. Kelsey Mitchell. We're going to catch this. 19 and a half points. Let's get it. One twenty. Uh, 128. FanDuel. Playing Indiana. Like I said, points allowed. 11th to the guard position. They're ranked 12th. Uh, like I said, both fast-paced teams and uh, play defense. Got a couple big people, but they're going to be scoring. Should be a high score. Uh, you know, Gray played in the All-Star game. She won the three-point contest and the skills challenge. She's uh, been in the, in the league for a couple of years now, so she's a little older, but she can still ball. Last five games, she cleared this three out of five. Last 10, 60%. Uh, 
hit the head. 67% hit rate. Played twice this year. 613, 621, 613 shooting clear. The day she cleared it, she shot horrible. Uh, so that's five games. She's been playing a lot better. Yeah, I'll break it down to 10 games. She's been playing pretty decent. For numbers around 16, 15, 16, 17, as long as the matchup's decent, it's a go. Uh, had some tough games, but she's been playing well. 821, she had 21 points versus Phoenix. She played Phoenix again, had 22 points. But uh, she's exceeded 16 and a half points in five straight games versus the bottom five defense. Uh, averaging 21 points a game. So his last 10 games, shooting 41% from the field, 24% from three. She don't shoot that many threes. She's averaging about making one a game, shooting 85% from the foul line. Uh, they're playing at home. There's five home games, cleared this three times. Coming off two days rest as well. Home games with two days rest this year. She's cleared this four out of five. So yeah, I liked it. Um, check out a shot chart. Yeah, man. Sixth, uh, yeah, looking good. The pace is six for that fever. Sixth in pace. Her shot shot 31%, 12, 15, mid 33 behind the arc. Defense is all lined up. By position, people play in her position, 67% hit rate for whoever played the FIBA. It's one of the main scores on the uh, on Atlanta, so she's going to get her points. Last five games, averaging 21. Well, those are, wait, hold on. That's home with uh, two days rest. Last five games, averaging 19 points. Lines at 16 and a half. Let's get it. Points and rebounds over 23 and a half, minus 130. Uh, FanDuel. Points, Atlanta's ranked fifth, and points allowed, they're ranked seventh. Overall, and rebounds allowed. I mean, she plays center, but she's a forward. She plays both of them. To the center position, it gets worse. Three and two, it says. But to the forward position, points ninth, rebounds 11th. So, um, last five games. Boston has cleared this number four out of five. Excuse me. She played uh, Minnesota on the 24th. 15 rebounds, 10 points. Seattle. Uh, it's a good team as well. 15, point, uh, 15 rebounds, 9 points. Phoenix, she just went under it. Dallas. Uh, Minnesota, once again, great team. 33 points. Uh, 33 points of rebound. 16. Rebound, 17 points. So, uh, sometimes she get more rebounds than points. Sometimes she goes off on points. That's why I combined them at her points line and her rebounds line. When you combine them, where they got our points lines, probably, yeah, 14 and a half. 
Rebound line's at over 10, so that's 24 and a half. That's exactly what it is. So this way, if she gets a little, a little more rebounds, a little more points, put them both together, she'll clear it. Um, as well as I could break it down to away games. Last five games, she's cleared this away. Some of it just went over it, but uh, yeah, I liked it. Shooting 63% from the field, last five away games. 67% uh, from the foul line, averaging about 12 rebounds a game. So if all goes well, everything's normal. So just go over it. Liam Boston, points and rebounds. All right, right back to her. Uh, she didn't perform last game. She had a couple games off, saw with her neck. And then uh, she just shit the bed. But uh, going right back to her. Sabrina has a new points over 18 and a half. Uh, 18 and a half on DraftKings. So, play it there. I uh, placed it earlier. They didn't have it on DraftKings. Always, always, that's why you need multiple books. I say this a lot. Multiple books, always line shop and odd shop. Because right then and there, it could be a difference between making the bet and, uh, Cash in the bet, not cash in the bet. But uh, last five games, she's hit this three out of five. She had a little break, like I said. She didn't play from the 17th. She came back to the 24th, and uh, she was just rough. She was trying. She looked, good, like, healthy. But uh, shot shit, which she shoot three for 13. Nowhere near what she normally does. But uh, I expected a bounce back. Playing a, a fast-paced team, playing Mercury. Uh, she's exceeded 18 and a half points in five of her six, five of her last six games versus a bottom five defense, averaging 22 points. Uh, Phoenix is ninth in points allowed to the guard position. Fourth, they're a little tighter on the guards. It's the same, but uh, I ain't gonna stop her. She had a bad game, and she's going to come out shooting. She's going to shoot the lights out of Phoenix. Watch. Um, last five away games, four out of five. These were as good teams. Vegas, Los Angeles sucks, but uh, Connecticut. That's what she scores. She shoots. Uh, averaging three threes a game. And take it off of this away game shit. The last five games, she's shooting 41%. This is with the shitty game. 41%. 35 from threes, averaging over three and a half threes. 90% from the foul line. It's definitely going to have a bounce back game. Um, like I said, the... Uh, Phoenix plays with pace too, the ninth. I'm pretty sure uh, Liberty is like seventh in pace, so they both play kind of quick. Three points allowed. Phoenix is ranked 12th. If you look to the right of the screen over here, you could read it all. But uh, her shot chart, that's where her shot chart's been for the year 19 inside, 17 the foul line, 11, 49% behind the arc. The last place behind the arc, so she's gonna light them up. Uh, people who play like her hit rate seventy five percent, twenty two percent point differential. When this is all in green and these numbers up here green, it's always a good sign. Hit rate fifty three percent. Players in her position playing Phoenix. So it all looks good. She's 
cash at sixty percent of the of the year. I'm going right back to it. Sabrina, go New York, go New York, go. Uh, player eighteen and a half, DraftKings. Uh, new viewers, if you would like, please subscribe. If you want to turn your notifications on, that's where you get my plays, my live bets. Uh, NFL is coming, they'll have live bets. WNBA don't have them. And uh, anything I do, uh, try to be as transparent as possible, keep you informed on exactly what I do. Every play I give you, I bet. Um, for instance, yesterday, I didn't uh, make videos, so I dropped in in the community. Yesterday, meaning today is Sunday. It's, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, as well as when I found these plays that I'm giving you now, I dropped them in the community on the slip and uh, told you to look out for the lines in case they changed and some of them did get bumped. For instance, this one did. Uh, started at 13 and a half. It's at 14 and a half now which I still like it. Um, Scott with Daniel Smith points over 14 and a half. Even money. FanDuel got it at, at uh, 15 plus and then uh, over 14 and a half. So make sure you look because it's it's uh, even money or it's minus 102. So right there, you can save a couple dollars or earn a couple more dollars. Has five games. Uh, basically, since they came back from the break, she's been on a tear. 29 points the first game, 15, 17 versus Washington. They're playing Washington again, as well as they've had a bunch of days off. So, a uh, veteran player, she's older. Now uh, she'll have some rest in her again. It'll be like just coming back from this break. I expect her to go off. Uh, Washington's eighth in points allowed to the guard position. They're ranked 10th. These last five games, she was shooting 35%, which is nothing crazy, but uh, 13% from three. She don't shoot threes. A couple of the game, but it's not a three-point shooter. And uh, 84, 83% from the foul line. Head to head, 100% hit rate. Played three times this year. This is another thing that sold me on it. It's a good thing I remembered that. Three times this year, she had 18 points, 16, and 17. That was a big selling point. And the way she's been playing the last couple games, I'm hoping that this five days off or whatever she just had, it, uh, doesn't make her have rust, but she's a veteran. She should be all right. And when she came back from the Olympic break, all-star break, she was nasty. So, uh, so her shot chart, 46%, 20, 11 inside, mid 23 behind the arc. It's all green. Uh, people that play her position, 53% hit rate. And these are people who play like her. 75% uh, hit rate. Everything's in green. It all looks good. See, his last three games, she's cleared it. Free throw is allowed. They're ranked 11th. Yeah, I liked her. Then those head-to-heads, every time she's played, she's cleared it. As well as since she came back from the break, she's been doing really well. I mean, if you look at her for the year, she did really good in the beginning, had a rough part before, uh, before the break. Picked it back up a little bit, fell off, and then since the break, she's been on a tear again. So we played her a couple times. I think we played her twice already. So hopefully she keeps it up. 14 and a half. She's going to have nine by halftime. Watch. Watch my words. 
Dingus Smith. Let's get it. Points and rebounds over 20 and a half. This line also got bumped. Maybe it didn't. Uh, they got her points line at 14. 13 and a half. Rebounds at seven and a half. Add them together. It's 21. So points and rebounds together at 20 and a half. That's why I chose that. Uh, she plays forward and center. To the center, points 11, three rebounds 11. To the forward, it says second and eighth. But uh, I'm not going to pay attention to that. The last five games, she was uh, she was hurt, so she was out until after the Olympic break. She came back here. Let's see in minutes. 19 minutes. She went right under this. 10 boards, 9 points. Minnesota's a great team, too. I like second behind Liberty. Uh, 5 rebounds, 16 points. And then this is where Seattle, who they're playing. 24 points, 9 rebounds. The minutes went up some. And then just... 23rd was uh, Los Angeles. She had 14 points, 11 rebounds. She cleared it. So she was looking good. I was going to play just her rebounds together at 7.5. But uh, she was able to score. She's been scoring a little more, too, since she's getting uh, more minutes. And uh, shooting 50% from the field these last five games. She don't shoot any threes. Uh, she could be better, a little better at free throws, but that's how forwards and centers are. 64%. Um, in these last five games, she's averaging a little over eight rebounds. She gets offensive and defensive. So uh, that's like the way she's been playing, and she's got a little two days rest. I feel like she's going to continue it. And as we see, she just went off on Seattle, 24-9. and nine. Missing Scott, uh, they got Dolan, too. They got a couple big people they can play. Uh, Austin's more athletic, get around more, stuff like that. Grab them rebounds, shoot up close. Uh, Dolson shoots good threes. And Dolson's rebounds went way down. If you notice, we played him the other day, and she got like two. That's because Austin's been grabbing him. So, yeah, I'm going to give her a shot. Let's see what she can do. Uh, points and rebounds. Let's get it. Minus 18. I got Brittany Sykes points and assists. When I dropped in the community, it was at 17 and a half. So hopefully you played it. It's at 18 and a half now. I still feel comfortable. Uh, she came back from injury after the Olympic break, all-star break. The minutes started going up. As you see here. 22, 23, 29, and then she finally played average minutes, and I think her minutes will be high this game as well. And you can see points were going up. Well, these are points and assists. They were going up, up, and she killed it. I mean, Los Angeles allows a lot of points and shit, but still, against Minnesota, she got seven assists, and they great against the assist. I just think that uh, we played her over here for her points, and she just didn't hit it. But she was still on minute restrictions. Uh, stats aren't there for this, but I just feel like it's gut play. She's seen the ball go through the hoop. She's off minutes restrictions. Uh, she can hoop. She can play. Uh, I think the number's going to go up. Uh, I played the points and the assists, like I said, because it was at 17 and a half. And her points plus her assist line was under. And ended up being under this. When you put it together, but uh, 18 and a half, I still play it. So uh, hopefully she does us justice. All right, it's late. Uh, apologize for the energy. Uh, let's make it a good one. Ace money, the name, getting paper to game.